how do you seal food products and what is used to seal packaging. So in this video, we're actually going to cover three different types of bag sealers for your food products. The ones that we use here in our own facility, I'm gonna show you a variety of sealers and how they work and which ones you really might need and ones that you may not need. We're gonna go over the three best ways to seal a food product for your food business. We're gonna get into that right now. All right, so here are two examples of hand sealers that do a very simple one single. Right on here, you will see the band. They do one simple single seal on the top. And let me show you what I mean by that. We've got a product here. This is one of our little chocolate pretzel rods in the bags. You can see that seal right there on the top. It's one single one. Well, that is what these do. These are handheld, not handheld, hand activated. You actually take them, press them down, and then you release them. Uh, very simple to use. They come in a multitude of sizes. Uh, they come from gigantic all the way down to uh, very small. This one is actually about 12 inches. This one is 18 inches. And they, I think they actually come up to 24 or even bigger. Now, which one do I need, Damien, if I'm just starting out? Well, it's really going to be dependent upon the types of bags. Here are some pretzels that we have. We're getting ready to ship out. So it depends on the type of bag length. Obviously, if you want something that would measure and work for you, this won't work. You really need to take a look at the size of your packaging and the width of it. Depending upon that, that's going to really tell you which one and which size. They really, in essence, do the exact same thing. They are the same type of unit. But depending on how big you need a piece, this is actually in our shipping area, by the way. We're getting ready to package up and ship out a whole bunch of products. If you're starting out from scratch and you've got really small bags, I would go with this one. This being only about 12 inches long, you can actually pick these up for around $40 to $50 or even cheaper. Um, they're very simple to use. The only thing that you have to be aware of, over time, this will wear out. There is a metal cord. There's a strip of metal right in here. And as you use this, you'll have to unscrew this over time. You'll have to take this and replace that. You see that little browning on the top? So as you begin to, you know what I mean? Begin to use this over and over and you do that a few thousand times. This little heating element, there's a heating element in here, that will actually go bad and you'll have to replace it. Uh, normally when you buy these units, you'll get like one or two to come with it, just as a replacement. And the same thing here, you basically unscrew this and this metal strip all the way down here. You pull this out and you just replace it. Very simple, very easy to maintain. Again, you're looking at about $40 to $50, maybe even less for the smaller ones. This one though is actually, um, this one will be somewhere around about $100 to $200. So you definitely want to keep in mind your budget for that, but this is huge. Now, what I would recommend is if over time, you're going to change the size of your packaging and the width of it is going to be much bigger, then I would go with the big one to start, okay? So this one's inexpensive. These are great starting uh, bag sealing, uh, handheld, hand-activated uh, machines, very inexpensive. Now, let's go on over to this huge, gigantic thing. This is a foot activated foot pedal sealer. And I did a video recently about this, uh, probably a couple months ago. Very simple, you press your foot down. Once you activate it, it will seal on the top and it has a light indicator and it goes off when it's ready. You can actually set the temperature for this one as well, uh, depending on the thickness and the type of plastic. Uh, by the way, that's a really, really interesting thing I need to touch on really quick. There are, are variations, you, you may or may not know this, but there's a variations of different plastics, polypropylenes, polypropylenes, uh, um, different thicknesses, uh, half, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, different gauges and such. All of these have variations of different types of actual plastics. So you wanna make sure that your heat setting, when you do operate all these different machines are run on heat settings. You're gonna to have to experiment with this and see which one actually works best. Um, because they're going to distribute a certain amount of heat based upon the thickness and of the type of plastic that you have. So once you place your bag inside the heating element, you simply step down on this, give it a second, it clicks off, and then you're done. Now, there's some pros and cons to this one too. The cool thing about it is, over time, I'm going to tell you right now, and this is my own experience, I have used these handheld ones quite some time, hand-activated ones, and over time, my back and my arms get very tired. We are literally sometimes processing, let's see if we have it here, thousands and thousands of pretzels, and each individual one is each individually sealed. We were doing that by hand. Let me tell you, my back over time was really hurting. So 
you want to go something like this if you're doing a larger quantity but not like mass production because it's very wide it has a little shelf here and you can put a lot of products in this unit while you do it let me show you so you basically step down on this you see the light the light will go off and then you're good to go and then you're sealed okay so the heat sealing one element on this one is also the same over time this will wear out you're going to have to replace this it takes a long time for that to happen actually um, but you're going to need to definitely replace that you pull off these edges you replace this metal strip and that's the heating element itself and you're good to go um, and then you have foot pedal activated now the foot pedal was better because of my back I didn't have to do everything with my hand or my arm and over time this was even better so now this unit though <laughs> this is about 450 to 500 bucks um, I found it online actually around 180 190 oh by the way and if you're looking for some links for these you can just price these out we'll have some really cool links down in the description to make it easy for you to kind of just search around and do some research you don't have to google it at all check out the links down below and that'll help you understand um, the pricing the different price points but this one was about 400 and so that I bought and to be honest with you I overpaid for that because I found another company that had it online for about 180 190 now the only thing to think keep in mind is that the width of this where the size will determine the pricing this is a really big one it's I think about 16 or 18 inches they have some smaller ones and that's probably that 180 190 price point all right so let's go over here next one up is the excuse the term Mac Daddy this is the amazing one I love this one this is our continuous band sealer it's got the heating element inside here we actually put it on the side so this is where the bags go into these two heating elements heat up it goes through the conveyor and then spits it out on the end you can adjust the heat and the speed on this one this is the heat element this is going to show you the temperature and this is show you how fast the conveyor works and this is the on and off switch and such you have the fan for the cooling element and then the heating ceiling element okay these always stay on and you simply just click it on and then it starts up but this is like a beast this is amazing the reason why is that we can produce uh, thousands which we do every month probably about 50 or 60 thousand pretzel rods um, here's a small little batch here now these are great because you can see it gives a fantastic seal let me get that over here see that seal right there so it seals up things like pretzel rods and it goes on the conveyor so simple and that's it you set it on there it does its thing and then spits it right off into your collection bin and you're done so this can go very fast too if you've got a lot of bags to seal up very quickly or individual units of candy like you know pretzel rods or what may now this unit you can get for about 240 250 maybe 260 on the low end and it goes up from there i've had this for about a year now this thing has saved me so much time because it literally just put it on the conveyor and it goes right down into the collection bin. I don't have to press anything. Let me turn that off. It is a little loud though. Um, but you don't have to press anything similar to these hand activated ones or even the foot pedals. But I do have these in case if something goes wrong or if something overheats, I always have a backup. So if you're going to the point where, depending on your quantity of products, if you're doing trail mixes, spice blends, tea bags, if you're doing anything in bulk, trail, uh, granolas and that type of thing, or candies, this unit right here is well worth about two to $300 to invest in it. You will make it your money back very quick. Um, the pros and cons to this, of course, the pros being that it's so big and fast, it makes sealing a lot of products very quick and easy. If physically, it doesn't hurt your back, your arm, or your foot. Um, some of the cons, it's a little bit on the loud side. Um, of course, this has other heating elements and, and apparatuses inside. So if something does go wrong, then you do have to figure out what's wrong with it. So it's a little more uh, intricate and there's a little more parts, of course, a lot more parts and pieces to this. Okay. The pros and cons of these other ones is that, yes, they're a lot simple to use, very easy to fix, very easy to replace and maintain. Same thing with this one. Foot pedal activated, very simple. It's not rocket science. It's something like the heating element goes, you just replace it. Uh, that does have a fuse switch on this one too, by the way. So you just have to replace the fuse. So all in all, three different types of bag sealers, three different ways to seal your food products. Depending on your budget and the size of your business, that's really going to dictate, that's actually gonna dictate which unit will be really best for you and your needs, okay? so. Continuous band sealing machine, that's called. You have a handheld 
bag sealer or handheld. I keep saying <laughs> hand activated bag sealer. And then you have the foot pedal version. Okay. So again, depending on your price range, depending on your needs, that would work for you. So all in all, guys, that is three different types of bag sealing machines. If you, it covers a big variety of different food businesses. Again, if you're doing even coffee business, if you have a coffee bag, you're doing gourmet coffee, spices, you're doing candies, granolas, trail mixes, whatever it is that's a bag related, you definitely want to check out these different types of sealers. So if your product comes in a bag or is going to come in a bag and you're starting off this way, you definitely want to check out these sealers. So if you have any questions about how to seal your packaged food product in bags with heat sealers or even a continuous bag sealer, like that amazing machine back there, let us know down below if you've used these machines before. Let us know how it worked out for you. Uh, and I'll check out you guys on our next video.